Is this yellow dot moving? No. Right? Is it now? Yes. We can say that it is moving because it has changed its position with respect to time and the blocks which were its surrounding. An object in motion moves along a path. The actual path length describes the distance of an object. It is a scalar quantity that is it has only magnitude and no direction. On the other hand, displacement is the shortest distance between the initial and final points and thus always is a straight line between these two points. Unlike distance, it is a vector quantity and has both direction and magnitude. Let us understand the difference between these two with few examples. In the first example, we have an object moving towards right along a straight line. Initially, the object moves 4 steps to the right. At this point, both distance and displacement are 4. Now, as the object takes 2 steps behind, the distance of the object increases by 2 and becomes 6. Whereas the displacement being the shortest distance now reduces to 2. In the next example, we have an object moving along the circumference of a semicircle of radius 2. The distance travelled by the object therefore is equals to the circumference of the semicircle given by pi into r which is pi into 2 which is approximately 6.28. However, displacement being the shortest distance between the initial and final points is going to be a straight line which is actually the diameter of the semicircle. Diameter of the semicircle is going to be 2r which is 2 into 2 which gives you 4. So 4 is the displacement. The last example is actually a challenge problem. The problem states that an object moves along the circumference of a circle but completes only 3 fourths of a round. We need to calculate the distance and displacement of the object. I want you to pause the video and write your answers in the comment section. The solution to the problem is that the distance being the actual path travelled will be calculated as 3 fourth of the circumference of a circle. Substituting the value of r as 3 meters in the expression will be left with distance as 14.14 meters. For the displacement, we again have to draw a straight line between the initial and the final point. The length of this straight line will give us the displacement of the object. The length of this straight line can be found by using the Pythagoras theorem in the right angle triangle form. Both base and perpendicular of this right angle triangle is equal to the radius of the circle which is 3 meters. Therefore, upon substituting the value as 3 squared plus 3 squared under the root, we are left with a displacement as 4.24 meters. This is it from my side. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you for watching.